You might have heard about friction before. You might have also heard that friction slows things down and wastes energy. So wouldn't it be nice if there was no friction? That might be good for cars, for example. For one, you wouldn't need fuel to make them move because nothing would slow them down. They would look more like these high-speed trains. Plus, you wouldn't need oil for engine parts because they would move perfectly smoothly anyway. But you might be surprised at how hard it would be for you to do the things you do every day without friction. So what would the world really look like without friction? Take Sebastian and Wilson. Sebastian just bought a new book, and Wilson has picked it up for him. Say, Wilson, did he pass me that book? Kinetic friction slows things down that slide across the surface. Here, it slowed the book sliding across the table. So what if there was no kinetic friction there? Say, Wilson, did he pass me that book? Without kinetic friction, that book isn't slowing down. Let's take a look at another situation where kinetic friction saves the day. You might not think musicians like Wilson have to deal with friction, but they do too. He has to put rods in on his bow to give it more friction, because that'll push and pull the string to make it vibrate and produce sound. But what if there was no friction? The wood has a lot less friction than the bow hair with rosin, so it doesn't pull the string as much so it sounds a lot softer. If there was no friction at all, orchestras would be out of business. Sebastian is running out of room to store his ladder, so he needs to rest it against a wall. The ladder isn't sliding, so there's no kinetic friction here. The reason why it's not moving at all is because of the other kind of friction, called static friction. Static friction is what keeps an object from slipping, so the object will either not move or it'll turn in some way. In this case, static friction is keeping both the bottom end stuck to the floor and the top end stuck to the wall. So what if there was no static friction? Have you ever thought about how you walk? That needs friction too. When Sebastian stood up and then lifted a foot to walk, his body moved forward so that he could start to walk forward. The reason he didn't slip and tumble is because his other foot was gripping the ground thanks to static friction. So what if there was no static friction? Now let's see Sebastian trying to make a fire by rubbing two pieces of wood together. What kind of friction is this? Well, the pieces of wood are sliding on each other, so this is kinetic friction again. So what if there was no kinetic friction here? The wood would be perfectly smooth, and we would have never been able to create fires to cook our food. That's not good. Finally, let's look at Wilson. He really likes riding a scooter. How does friction affect him? Well, he needs friction to start riding. Without static friction, the wheels would just spin in place, he would slip and tumble, and the scooter wouldn't go anywhere. And he needs friction to stop. Without kinetic friction, the scooter would never slow down before crashing. Ah! Sometimes friction is something to be reduced, because it wastes energy and slows things down when it shouldn't. But you've just seen the ways that friction actually helps you in your daily life. You do many of these things without thinking about friction. So take some time to think of other things in your daily life that happen because of friction. Thanks for watching.